Decision 2022, Election Day exactly two weeks away, and Utah voters will decide if they are for or against a constitutional amendment this election. The legislation impacts how much spending money lawmakers can handle during an emergency. This special Shelby Lofton joined us from the Capitol to explain how this ballot item affects you. Shelby? Those voting for this amendment agree to raise the cap on spending during special sessions. Those against want to keep the budget as is. I think it's something that has maybe flown on the radar a little bit. Voters will see a constitutional amendment on the ballot. Lawmakers say the proposal comes after the pandemic. During COVID, we had to have a lot of special sessions. We had a lot of changes that we had to make to our budget, a lot of federal money that was coming at us. Representative Jeff Stenquist says if Constitutional Amendment A is passed, it gives lawmakers more flexibility during an emergency. There's always a little bit of a element of the unknown. You don't know what's going to come up. That flexibility is a concern for opponents like the Alliance for a Better Utah. And we believe that those constitutional checks and balances, it's not always meant for convenience or flexibility. It's meant to be able to work in a system to where different parties have to agree to get things done. Constitutional Amendment A only applies to emergencies when special sessions are called. If we had an earthquake or something like that, that we might have to do some emergency measures. It would raise the cap on the state's budget that can be used for emergency spending. Right now it's at 1%. This amendment would bump that up to 5%. We just want to be able to make sure that we can react quickly when needed uh, when it comes to funding. Opponents say the amendment gives lawmakers too much control. We believe that it's an unnecessary power grab by the legislature at the expense of our constitutional checks and balances. Supporters point out special sessions don't happen often. Opponents say the legislative body should continue to operate as is. Early in-person voting started at some locations today. Election Tuesday is exactly two weeks away. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News.